Neurosurgeon Mustafa Al Yamani has not left the hospital where he works in Syria's Idlib for six days. The small hospital near the Bab al Hawa border crossing with Turkey is where many of the victims of last Monday's earthquakes have been taken. Here, he explains the difficult decisions he's had to make. On the day of the quake, I was on my day off. And after the disaster, there was a call put out for all doctors to head to hospitals, and I responded. I started working on Monday morning, the morning of the quake. Until today, six days, I've been at the hospital and worked around the clock. There are surgeries to be done, and I'm usually between operating rooms and doing the rounds with patients between 8 in the morning until around 2 a.m. There were a lot of very tough cases, one of which was a three-month-old baby who lost his entire family. He's the only survivor, and he was in a critical condition. We put him on a ventilator. He has other injuries to his chest, stomach and head. The majority of patients, thank God, have been treated well, but there are some who haven't and there is nothing we can do. Of course, the resources at our disposal were limited compared to the scale of the disaster. And in this area, in the rebel-held areas, we don't have the infrastructure or hospitals to receive such patient numbers. There are well-established countries that haven't been able to deal with such situations. At least 36,000 people are reported to have been killed, of which more than 4,300 are in northwest Syria. In Syria, the disaster hit hardest in the rebel held northwest, leaving homeless yet again many people who had already been displaced several times by a decade old civil war. Compared to government areas, the region has received a little aid.